Okay, thanks, Jeff. Um, first, as I get started today in talking about uh, worldvitalrecords.com primarily, that will be my focus today, and I'll walk uh, everyone through a demo of the site, an overview of the site, and um, but first I want to thank the uh, nearly 40,000 current customers that are helping us uh, build a uh, what we hope is is one of the great genealogy and family history websites. Um, when we started five years ago, actually October next month will be five years uh, since we started selling subscriptions to World Vital Records. Um, and so our team of, uh, of about 35 people now um, is really dependent on the support of our users, uh, not only their financial support, but also their uh, emotional support, their encouragement, and their requests for uh, content and features uh, that will help them in their discovery of their own family history and their sharing of their own family history with the people that they care about. So first of all, a shout out to nearly 40,000 uh, customers. We're very thankful for your um, willingness to use our service and to help us make it better. And also, um, we started out nearly five years ago with a little different business model uh, than some other genealogy companies. We don't uh, digitize and index all of the content ourselves. Rather, we have spent um, several years now working with uh, dozens and dozens of wonderful companies, publishers, uh, government organizations, uh, uh, individuals, um, and we license and aggregate uh, content from dozens of sources. We have nearly 50 content partners from over a dozen countries. And um, I was able to travel to 14 countries meeting with genealogy publishers and entrepreneurs and record uh, keepers, archives, and uh, had some wonderful experiences over the past few years um, traveling and meeting up with people all around the world who really want to preserve heritage and, and help people find and discover their family history. Um, and so the, the, it's just a wonderful industry to be in. And uh, so I want to thank the partners. I want to thank our employees. Um, we have, as I said, about 35 employees. And uh, we've hired some wonderful people that worked at other genealogy companies and, uh, and very important geneal genealogy organizations. And together, we are trying to build something that will be um, helpful, useful, uh, affordable, valuable to um, you know hopefully hundreds of thousands of, of customers in the future. We get great satisfaction when we hear success stories. Um, obviously we don't have all the genealogy records of the world and really no single site does, um, but I think uh, we, we have a, a significant role to play in helping uh, people around the world discover their family history and their family stories. We've had a, a lot of focus the last few years on um, yearbooks and newspapers and uh, stories from local histories and family histories um, so that it's not just about the vital records, but it's also about the stories that bring your family uh, tree to life. So um, let me start by just saying uh, worldvitalrecords.com is the property, the website that I will be discussing most today, and the screenshots are all taken from worldvitalrecords.com. But um, we also have familylink.com, which is a, a, a brand that we market primarily to new people, uh, new people new to family history. A lot of people actually don't know what a vital record is, and so the term world vital records may not make sense to someone who's just beginning to uh, be interested in their family history. So the Family Link brand is for the kind of mass uh, market. The World Vital Records brand is what we uh, promote at conferences where experienced genealogists and, and I think the participants in today's web webinar certainly know what a vital record is. And, uh, and, and I'll admit, you probably all know more about genealogy methodology and hands-on research uh, doing searches and, and adding records to trees than I do. Um, I have been uh, interested in family history since I was young. Um, my, my family has had several genealogists going back uh, two or three generations that have built very large family trees, and I've benefited from their research. Um, my own personal discoveries 
in family history have really been um, on our website and on other uh, internet sites around uh, more recent uh, information, uh, newspaper articles and yearbooks uh, photos that have been uh, largely forgotten. Um, so I'm not a professional genealogist, even though I started Ancestry and I started Family Link. Um, I'm really more of a publisher, content aggregator, and, and uh, marketing and business person. Um, and so uh, I'm thankful that there are so many uh, people in the genealogical community that not only uh, use these services, but they blog about them and they, they go to conferences and, 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 and society meetings and, and share uh, the methodologies, how do you do this. And so today I'll touch a little bit on how to use our site, um, but you know, thankfully there are other places we can all go uh, to um, learn more and more about advanced genealogical um, techniques and uh, documentation and citation, et cetera. So I don't, I don't proclaim to be uh, the leading genealogist or, or anything like that, um, but I'm happy to be a part of this wonderful industry. Okay, so let's get started with the uh, slides. Um, we will go to worldvitalrecords.com homepage, a screenshot of the homepage. Mostly what I'll be doing today is uh, a PowerPoint that I can run through, uh, but then uh, I may do some live uh, searches as well. Um, so World Vital Records has a similar design to many other genealogy sites with a prominent search box uh, at the top left and then uh, a number of tabs that uh, will help you drill into the content and the features that you're most interested in. Um, when you log into World Vital Records, uh, it will show you your name. It will confirm to you that you have been logged in and that then you have full access to all of our collections. And so in this case, the name is World Vital Records. That's the name of my account. Um, but it says I'm a World Collection subscriber. And uh, you'll want to make sure that you're logged in uh, when, when you use the site. And by the way, everyone can sign up for a three-day free trial uh, at any time. But today, we have a very special deep discounted offer for all of the participants of the webinar, and I'll, I'll talk about that later. It's uh, more than 50% off and a couple of extra months for free, uh, and I'll, I'll give you information about how you would take advantage of that, of that offer today. So um, the World Vital Records uh, site, you'll notice that it keeps track of your recent searches. In fact, it keeps track of all of your searches, and over time what we're hoping to build is uh, really intelligent tools that will remember that your past searches and then when new data is added uh, to the site that we could let you know. Um, obviously that is not uh, something we have finished building, but by saving all of your queries, uh, we're going to be able to do some really great things uh, in the future with those queries. Um, we have the main page uh, that you would use as a subscriber is our Search All Databases page. And this is where you uh, think about the people that you're searching for, their first and last names, locations, uh, the date ranges, and, uh, and how uh, exact you want your search to be. Uh, we encourage people to be general to begin with. When you're doing a, a search, you know, I, I have a few rare surnames in my family tree, uh, one of them being Israelson, spelled S-E-N. And uh, if I do a, a specific search for one Israelson ancestor, then I may uh, miss out on uh, a number of articles or books or, or um, even yearbook content or tombstone photos where um, the first name might not be an exact match. And so we recommend starting out with a surname and a location, either a city, I'm sorry, a state or a country. So if I searched for Israelsons in uh, Utah or in California, then I will be able to look at all the results from all of the databases and, 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 uh, and then zero in on the, the, the hits that look most interesting. So um, that's, uh, that's what we encourage. Start with general searches and then add more detail later, such as first names and date ranges and place, uh, more specific places. Um, we do have a search tab that allows you to search, uh, look at our card catalog, 
look at our most popular collections, or look at all the major types of records that we have, birth, marriage, death, census and voter lists, court and probate records, family trees, etc. And uh, sometimes you know exactly what you're looking for. You're not just looking for everything about Victor Israelson. You're actually looking for uh, his birth record or his marriage record. And so sometimes you'll choose to go into a narrow search and not do a, not do a general search. Uh, we also have a Places tab where you can browse our database collections by state, by country, by U.S. and by international. Now, the reason why I think any new user on World Vital Records should actually spend a lot of time browsing by place and browsing in our card catalog is that we actually have so many tens of thousands of databases that it's very helpful to zero in on a place and just browse through our collections to find out what books and periodicals and newspapers and yearbooks uh, we have in a particular location. As you become familiar with our collection in the locations where your family history happened, uh, you will be able to um, browse and, and, and supplement your searching and the search results with browsing through particularly local histories. Um, perhaps our map collections. And, uh, and so, you know, if, you're, if you were a um, student in, in, a, in a university uh, and you relied heavily on the library, uh, I know one very smart man who in his college career, he, he spent uh, hundreds of hours browsing the shelves of his university library trying to acquaint himself with the greatest collections and resources that they had. And he read uh, profusely, but uh, for, for us now that this is an electronic library with tens of thousands of books and databases and maps and uh, other collections, uh, I would really recommend that the way you get the most out of our, of our collection is to become acquainted with the variety of things that we have in it. Uh, do some searches within individual databases, become familiar with the military collections, the the yearbooks, the tombstone collections, the immigration records, etc. Um, here's a view of the um, map. We, we allow you to browse uh, by state or country um, by clicking on uh, either the, the geographic, uh, the, the map itself, or the name of the state. And you'll notice this page uh, also has some of our featured collections some of the newest collections that we've added and some of our largest collections that have hundreds of millions of records uh, over a long period of time. We do have a search help section and we are um, always getting uh, uh, inquiries and, and support questions uh, over the phone. We have phone support and we also have email support and we try to improve the uh, quality of our, of our search helps um, as, we, as we understand in such a vast collection, uh, it's not always clear to a customer where you start or what you do. And, and so we try to document more and more uh, over time how to use various collections and uh, databases from different regions, different countries. Okay, so here is a uh, card catalog uh, uh, screenshot. And this shows that um, the default way of viewing our card catalog is by the size of the collection. You'll notice that we have uh, a lot of census databases on this list. We have a death index, a birth index from California. We have the Find a Grave collection, uh, 41 million records uh, in the Find a Grave collection of tombstone inscriptions and tombstone photographs. But our biggest collection in terms of overall reach and the number of names, the number of people that are mentioned in this huge newspaper collection it is our news, newspaper archive collection with uh, an estimated over 2 billion people mentioned uh, in, in that very, very large collection spanning hundreds of years and uh, over 100 million pages of newspapers that have been uh, digitized and uh, indexed or OCR. Uh, OCR so that we can search them. So um, again, make yourself very familiar with our card catalog. Uh, we do have census reels 
meaning we've we've got images of all of the U.S. Census going back to 1790 to 19.